Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a brand new pick a pile for you guys. And before I actually launch into this, um, I'm actually rec recording on a new device today. Um, before, for the past couple of weeks while I've been just launching and starting this channel, I was recording on my iPhone. I have an iPhone 10 that's like almost three years old. So it's like really old, has a lot of stuff on it, um, definitely overheats a lot. So I wanted to get something else so not all the pressure was put on my phone. So I actually got an iPod, funny enough, they still make those, um, but an iPod 7th generation hot pink one that came out last year. So hopefully this records well and does fine. It should because it's all still Apple and everything, but just a heads up because I didn't know if this was going to sound or look different from the previous videos that I've put up. So this is kind of its maiden voyage into what we're doing today. Anyway, speaking of voyages, we're going to take a little voyage into what is happening with you right now. And the question we're asking today is, where are you going? This is just going to be a very general reading. We're pretty much looking into um, just about anything. We're leaving it open-ended. This could be for your career. It could be your love life, your family, friends, health, hobbies, activities, interests, anything and everything. We're just going to leave this open based upon what you're doing in your life right here, right now, today, what types of thoughts you're having, what you're putting out there into the world, um, where are you headed, what, where are you going in the world right now. And this is timeless, so this could apply to any time. You know, it doesn't matter if you're seeing this the day that this video is posted, five years, ten years from when it's posted, it doesn't matter, it is a timeless reading. So here are four different piles to choose from with where we're going and funny enough i decided to go with different locations to see where we're going so pile number one we have the win from las vegas the win las vegas here stay <laughs> uh, pile number two we have the eiffel tower from paris funny enough this is actually from like the Paris Hotel and Casino in Vegas. So I guess this could be another Vegas one too, but we're just gonna say this is Paris, France. Pile number three is the state of California. Which is where I am. And pile number four, we have uh, a World Trade Center Memorial, so we are basically doing New York. You know, you could go with New York the state or New York City, but we are going with New York for pile number four. So pick whichever location resonates with you the most. Maybe you live in one of these areas. Maybe you have been to one of these areas traveling-wise. Maybe you want to go to one of these areas, but pick where you want to go so we can find out where you're going. Where is your life going right now? So without further ado, let's check into the win and see what's happening with pile number one. Hi, pile number one. If you chose the win in Las Vegas, then this is the reading for you. We're going to find out where you are going. So we have several different decks here. We're going to kick things off with the ice cream oracle here. It's summertime and it's actually National Ice Cream Day as I'm filming this. So, happy National Ice Cream Day. What's your favorite flavor? Let me know in the comments. Let's see what flavors you guys got. White chocolate raspberry, sensibility, decorum, and elegance. Chocolate, always a good flavor. Purpose, depth, and roots. Key Lime Pie, Good Omens, Luck, and Blessings. Very, very nice. And for your tarot from the Crystal Unicorn Tarot deck, we have the Empress, the Five of Pentacles, 
strength, and justice. All right. I'm going to scooch these over a little bit so you guys can see them as well as possible. All right. From the Moonology deck, we have Communication is key, new moon in Gemini. And you're very close to achieving your goal, the gibbous moon. Very nice. And finally, your Jesus card from Loving Words from Jesus. As I always say, a Bible verse a day keeps the bad vibes away. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. John 14, 27. Very cool. All right. Well, we're going to get into it here. Um, well, I think you guys are in pretty good shape right now just by looking at these cards. Um, I am going to double check what the meaning of the Five of Pentacles is really quick in the book for the Crystal Unicorn Tarot. Um, just because it can vary a little bit from different decks, different tarot deck to tarot deck. Where are those pentacles? Here they are. Here are those pentacles. All right. The five of pentacles. Looks like one of these unicorns uh, needs a new outfit. <laughs> um, they look a little, a little sad there. All right. Five of pentacles. Stuck in a rut? Guess what? You have everything you need in front of you. All you have to do is reach out and ask for it. Don't try to do everything yourself. You have people around you that are willing to help if you ask. Insecurity, poverty, and loss are the key words here. Um, so it's always good to start, I guess, with what we need to work on. So in general, it seems what I'm, what I'm feeling here from this card is putting it together with the Empress. In reality, you are the Empress. And, you know, the Empress is basically the embodiment of all the queens. You know, she is very confident. She's stable. She's the mother. She's loving. She's nurturing. She has passion, compassion. She's confident. You know, she's just got it going on. So I think in reality, this is who you really are. Sometimes you don't see who you really are, though, and I think sometimes you live in this Five of Pentacles energy where you don't see how you're the empress. You don't see your worth. You don't see your value. You see yourself more like these two unicorns, like this one looks like it has like a little bandage on its leg, and this one, you know, it's it's got itself covered in like this beat up old blanket, and sometimes I get the feeling that you don't see your worth and you don't see your value. You have these insecurities, but you really shouldn't because you are the empress. And I do think that other people in your life see you that way. They see you as being strong. You know, we have strength here. And, you know, this timid but beautiful looking unicorn is standing above and over the lion you know, not to say that like the unicorn is being intimidating with the lion or anything like that, because that's not the case. But the unicorn carries the spirit of the lion inside of it that, you know, this, this unicorn is strong. This empress is strong. And I think that's who you really are. That's who you really are at your core. But sometimes you just don't see that in yourself. And Therefore, justice will be served, you know. Um, whatever injustices are currently going on in your life, and like I said, this is a general reading. This could apply to a lot of different things. You know, maybe you're encountering an unfair situation at work, or maybe someone within your household, you're having an issue with a family member, or, you know, maybe you and your love interests are not communicating right now or something to that degree that, you know, there's, there's just a problem. There's some kind of issue, like a communication issue going on in some aspect, some area of your life that you're looking for justice from. And there is going to be that justice because 
You truly have the strength to handle it and get through it. And you are this beautiful, amazing empress and you don't see it. I think that a lot of the issues that you're having are going to get resolved once you get past the five of pentacles here, which are your insecurities, which are unfounded, like you really shouldn't have them. And to go along with that, you know, communication is key here. Yeah, I definitely feel that um, once you get past your five of pentacles insecurities, you're going to step into that fullness of that empress power that you already possess. And the communication that you're looking for, whether it's communicating with somebody that you haven't spoken to in a long time, or simply having a good conversation with someone that you're having a disagreement with, it's definitely going to be resolved because you're very close to achieving your goal. And I, in this case, in this pile in particular, I'm feeling that the goal is resolving the issue that's currently happening between you and someone else, whether it's at work, whether it's at home, a friend, a lover, whatever the case may be. And it's funny because we have white chocolate raspberry, sensibility, decorum, and elegance. And those words perfectly describe the empress. That's exactly who the empress is. She's sensible. She's elegant. You know, she's got it going on. She's just like beautiful and amazing and people look up to her and love her and respect her. And they don't do that because, you know, they feel like they have to because she's this queen or anything, but they do it because they want to. They do it because she just exudes loveliness, basically, and people want to be around that. And I do feel that people feel that warmth and they feel that love when they're, they're around you. So you definitely have um, elegance and sensibility about you. And you also have depth and you have roots, you know, uh, purpose, for sure. Um, when, I, when I think of like this chocolate card, I get a very grounding energy out of it. So it's almost kind of like an earthy kind of feel, you know, perhaps you're an earth sign. You could be a Taurus, Capricorn. Um, who's the other earth sign? <laughs> There's one more, one more there. Um, it'll come to me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you could be an earth sign. Even if you're not, that's cool too. But bottom line is you just have this very grounding energy about you, which once again is something that the empress possesses. You know, the empress is very grounding and loyal and stable as well as having these qualities. So I feel like these ice cream cards are really describing qualities that you possess as that empress that you should not forget. And as for key lime pie, uh, good good omens, luck, and blessings, and that's very true too. You do have you do have that for sure. Um, once you let go of this, because this is literally like the only downer card, I guess you could say, out of this entire group here. Once you let go of this, which I think is something that's very small and it's trivial, and it's going to be very easy to just get past. But once you get past that, you're going to see blessings just flowing into your life because it's it's hard to accept blessings and love and good things into your life when you're not feeling good about yourself and you're feeling insecure. But you are you are stronger than you seem, you are more talented than, than you know, you're more beautiful than you're aware of. Like you have all these amazing qualities about you and just because you may be having like a little communication hiccup with somebody right now, or you may be in a fight with somebody right now. Don't let that like define who you are or make you feel bad about yourself because you're going to get past that. There's going to be communication that's going to come along to resolve that issue, which is your goal in this instance. So, um, but yes, good things are on the way for sure. And this is why you should not let your heart be troubled and neither be afraid because there really isn't anything to be afraid of here. So that's like a really good card pull. And I have one other surprise for you guys, which are in here. It's kind of like charms, not exactly. Um, it's kind of funny. 
So not too long ago, I had these like paper tag things that you could put on your keys to like label your keys. And someone gave these to me a long time ago and I never actually did anything with them. I never used them to label anything. So I decided to like write some messages on them here and we're just gonna see what comes through for you. We're gonna take like three and see what comes out. Ah, what did I say about that, uh, about that earth energy there? So you may be a Capricorn or you may be involved with a Capricorn in this situation. Politics, interesting. Um, perhaps what's going on in the world right now, dealing with politics has been a, a sensitive subject. Maybe that's why you're fighting with somebody right now. It's a political squabble. Uh, theme park, well, I think most theme parks are closed except for like Disney World right now. So maybe you're going to a theme park, maybe not. But if you're not going to a theme park because of everything that's going on with COVID, maybe life just kind of feels like a roller coaster to you right now. You know, the ups and the downs. And Sagittarius, we also have some Sagittarius energy coming through. But we also have humor. So I think that whatever's going on in your life right now, try not to take things too seriously. Be lighthearted. Enjoy life. Laugh at a joke. Find a meme. Share it with your friends. Just have fun. And cancer. We got like three different signs that came through. So we got cancer... Capricorn and Sagittarius so perhaps you are one of these signs or someone that you're dealing with right now is one of those signs but that's basically what I see going on for you guys right now I hope you found this helpful if the message did not flow just let it go but if it did please let me know in the comments down below I would love to hear from you feel free to subscribe and give this video a big fat thumbs up uh, hit the notification bell as well if you do subscribe so you know when future videos are coming out otherwise i hope you guys have an amazing day keep sparkling i'm sending you lots of hugs and much love hi pile number two if you chose the eiffel tower from paris then this is the reading for you we're gonna find out where you are going so we're going to kick things off here with the ice cream oracle deck. Funny enough, it is actually National Ice Cream Day as I'm filming this. So happy National Ice Cream Day. Um, what is your favorite flavor? Let me know. We have bubblegum, memories, nostalgia, and childhood. Vanilla, status quo, tradition, simplicity and kiwi strawberry, optimism, optimism and exuberance, and youthfulness. Very cool. All right, now for your tarot cards, which are from the Crystal Unicorn Tarot. We have the Nine of Cups, Death, the Nine of Wands, and the lovers in reverse. All right. For your Moonology deck, we have Don't Let Pride Get in Your Way, Full Moon in Leo, and Prosperity Lies Ahead, New Moon in Taurus. Finally, for your Jesus card from Loving Words from Jesus, because in my opinion, a Bible verse a day keeps the bad vibes away. We have, your heavenly father knoweth that you have need of all things. Matthew 6, 32. Okay, well, let's get into this, shall we? And see what is going on. We are going to start off with uh, some of this nine energy that's happening for you right now. We're going to check into the Nine of Wands. 
So according to the book here, this is what it says about the Nine of Wands. You may have been wounded in battle, but you are strong and magical. You can handle anything that comes your way. Look within yourself for the confidence and strength that can get you through that final push and across the finish line. Keywords, perseverance, resilience, and confidence. Okay, so you may be going through some stuff right now. So you definitely have to like keep pushing through, keep going. Don't quit, don't give up. All right, let's check out the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups says, perfect unicorn status card to come up in your reading. When this card appears, that means that your wish is getting fulfilled. You will be receiving and achieving what you truly desire. Just think of this unicorn in, the, in this card as your personal genie, granting your every wish. Keywords, confirmation, satisfaction, and contentment. And yes, I can see how he is definitely the genie here because they do have him wearing a little hat there, like a genie hat. Um, so I think the way these two cards kind of go together is, um, you know, you're working hard towards your goal. It hasn't been an easy road for sure. It's been long, it's been hard, it's been difficult. You've probably been waiting a long time for whatever it is this thing is that you're trying to get to. It could be a relationship goal, it could be a career goal, um, you know, whatever this thing is that you are trying to achieve, it has not been easy. It's been a challenge. There's been a lot of ups and downs, peaks and valleys, but you should definitely keep going because your wish coming true, your dream, your desire happening and unfolding into your life, into your reality, it's on its way, but you have to keep pushing through. Like, don't give up, don't quit. If you quit, then you're not gonna get to that nine of cups. Like, that's not gonna come through, but you're just gonna have to keep going, keep pressing on, keep pushing through. It's worth the labor pains, just push. Push, push, push. Let me be your Lamaze coach here and help you birth your dream. <laughs> but um, anyway, moving on. The death card. Uh, we all know that the death card basically means uh, transformation. It's like a transition from one season to another, a chapter closing and a new beginning kind of a thing. So this could definitely be tied to this long journey that you've been on in order for you to get to the Nine of Cups and have that wish fulfillment, something in your life probably needs to pass away and die. Um, something that no longer serves you is probably going to have to be put behind you in the past in order for you to continue pushing through and getting to the other side. Um, you know, that could be a lot of different things to a lot of different people, because like I said, this reading is general. Um, it could be a relationship that needs to end. It could be a job situation that needs to end. It could be that you need to move from one place to the other. And it may not even be something as physical as that. It could simply be just like a mindset that you have to put to bed. It could be an attitude that you need to drop. Um, so, you know, it could be as simple as that. It could be something that's going on internally that needs to change. And as for the lover's reverse, um, well, you know, the lover's obviously is about, you know, two coming together kind of a thing. And I think that this is basically saying that as of right now, you're kind of doing this on your own. You know, it's not two becoming one kind of a thing. Now, if it's a relationship, you could be just kind of like, pushing through trying to do things on your own maybe you're not really like being vulnerable with this other person maybe you're not really communicating with this person in an effective way and maybe you not being vulnerable is a thing that needs to die maybe you need to be open to being vulnerable in order to open up and you know be able to flip this from you know upside down to upright kind of a thing if it's not a relationship 
Um, if it's like a business kind of thing, maybe you're just like pushing too hard to make things happen by yourself and you need to like network and you need to reach out to others and involve others into what you're doing to help you reach your goal that it may not be just like this one man show like you're going about it. So that may help as well in pushing you through to get to your nine of cups. It is definitely a journey though, that's for sure. Whatever is going on, it is a journey. And it's funny because we have, don't let pride get in the way. And what was I just saying with the lovers in reverse? It could be that there, you know, there could be some pride going on that you're not being open, you're not being vulnerable, you're not willing to let your guard down to allow this um, bonding, to allow this pairing to transpire and come together. And I definitely feel and sense that you want that closeness, you want that togetherness, or you want that you know, team group effort if it's like a business kind of thing, but you're letting your pride get in the way too much where you're kind of like the little kid right now where it's like you're trying to tie your shoe, you're still learning how to tie your shoe and you don't really have a hang of it yet and you've been trying and you've been trying and you've been trying and you've been trying and that's great and it's great that, you know, you're so persistent and you really want to do it on your own, but it gets to the point where it's just like, okay, you need to ask an adult, you need to ask an older person to help you tie your shoe already. <laughs> so um, it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to let your guard down. It's okay to be vulnerable. So I think the pride is probably the thing here that needs to go to die. Um, I'm definitely picking up, especially with that coming out, that um, more so it's going to be a, a mindset, a stronghold in your mind that needs to be let go of is the thing that needs to go to die more so than it being like a circumstantial kind of thing, like a relationship or job or something like that. And I do think if you do these things, prosperity will lie ahead. The Nine of Cups here confirms that your prosperity is coming, but you know, there are just a few, a few little hoops you got to jump through first, but they're not difficult hoops. Like they're things that are totally capable of being done. So as of right now, you've kind of been following just like the status quo of this situation. You know, you've been following tradition, you've been coloring within the lines, trying to do it by yourself kind of a thing. And you need to mix it up a little bit because then we have bubble gum and kiwi strawberry. And these flavors are like super fruity, loud, or, or boisterous, fun kind of flavors. You know, they are very the opposite of what's happening here with vanilla. And I think that these two flavors are a reminder of, you know, maybe one way to help drop that pride is to find the fun again, basically. Find the fun again in that relationship. Find the fun again in that career goal that you're striving for. You know, don't be so consumed with, you know, I have to make it to this point or whatever. You know, just have fun and enjoy, you know. Tap into your inner child here, you know, inner child, childhood memories, nostalgia, um, youthfulness, childhood, optimism. I think this is definitely saying bring your inner child out into this situation and let it play. You know, your inner child may feel a little bit stifled right now, so it's it's cool to let your inner child come out and play and, you know, kind of take charge a little bit in this situation. There's nothing wrong with that. And your Heavenly Father knoweth that you need all of these things. So if you're worried about letting go some of that control, if you're worried about letting your guard down, if you're worried about, you know not being vanilla and having a little bit of fun and loosening up and everything, don't worry about that. Like, most importantly, God has got this. You know, he wants you to have fun and enjoy things. And yes, go for your goals and make things happen and be responsible and be serious where it matters. But also remember to let go and enjoy your life because we're not just here to like work and trudge through things, you know, we're here to also enjoy life and experience all the beauty that is in it. There's so many good things in life too. So 
um, don't forget that. And remember that, you know, God has you through all of this. Now, before I wrap up, I have one more little extra surprise for you guys. So it's not exactly charms, but I do have these little paper tag things that were actually um, given to me to go on some keys, like for keychains and stuff to label things. And I never wound up using them. So instead, I decided to like write little messages on them here that we may be able to use as a part of your reading and see what comes out. So I'm just gonna mix these up right now. And we're gonna take three out. Well, gee, politics seems to like to come out a lot. Um, this came out in the first pile. So we have politics. Maybe politics is a big part of your life right now. I know, you know, there's a lot of drama going on. It's an election year. Things are a little crazy right now, the virus and everything. Um, so that may be a hot topic going on for you. You could be a Capricorn or you may be dealing with someone who's a Capricorn right now. We also have fitness. Um, perhaps that's been one of your top goals that you've been working on. Maybe you've been working on uh, losing some weight or eating healthier or, you know, just simply like streamlining your body, detoxing stuff or whatever. So maybe fitness has been something that's been important to you that's going on. You also could be a Virgo or you may be dealing with a Virgo. Games. Oh, well, this is perfect considering, you know, we have like these youthful cards here, youthfulness, excitement, nostalgia, childhood, and, you know, what do you do as a kid? You play games. And I think this is definitely a reminder that you just need to play some games, like have fun, let loose, enjoy. Totally a reminder there. And no. <laughs> so... I guess if there was like a yes or no answer you were looking for through this message, even though we didn't exactly ask a yes or no question, um, the answer would be no What to whatever that would be. Um, anyway, I hope you guys found this reading helpful and it resonated. If the message did not flow, just let it go. But otherwise, if it did, please let me know and leave me a comment down below. Um, Please feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when future videos are coming out and leave this video a big fat thumbs up before you leave. Otherwise, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Keep on sparkling. I am sending you lots of hugs and much love. Hi, Pile 3. If you chose the state of California which is where I happen to be, which is where I live, um, then this is the reading for you. All right, we are going to find out where you're going. We're gonna start out with the ice cream oracle. And today actually just so happens to be National Ice Cream Day as I'm filming this. So happy National Ice Cream Day, you guys. And let me know what your favorite flavor of ice cream is. Let's dive into what your ice cream cards say. Tiger, strength, dignity, ma and majesty. Coconut, protection, purification, boundaries. Blueberry, peace, meditation, acceptance. All right, and now for your tarot cards from the Crystal Unicorn Tarot. Uh-oh, the tower, ha! Huh. Well, let's see what that's gonna unfold to be. The Hermit, major arcana going on here, major stuff. Nine of Pentacles, and Six of Wands. Okay, okay, I'm kinda seeing where we're going here. From the Moonology deck, we have a personal issue reaches a resolution, full moon in Cancer. And work through your fears, 
new moon in Scorpio, but this is in reverse. Okay, and finally, last but not least, from your loving words from Jesus deck, because I always say a Bible verse a day keeps the bad vibes away, we have... Whosoever shall do the will of my Father, which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. Matthew twelve fifty. Okay, so we have some heavy stuff going on here, but I do think you guys are going to be okay and get through it. So let me explain. Obviously, we're going to get the nasty nasty out of the way and we're going to address the big fat elephant in the room being the tower. And we all know the tower means, you know, deconstruction of things, foundations crumbling, things falling apart, you know, just things not going well. So it's very possible this could be where you're at right now. Things could be falling apart. 2020, like many of us, if you're watching this in real time, is probably not your year. And I believe that whatever is falling apart in your life right now, it could be personally, it could be professionally, it could be, you know, on any different level. Um, whatever is falling apart in your life, it is definitely taking you into hermit mode. So it's bringing you into this place of reflection and going within and reevaluating what's happening, happening in your life, which isn't unusual. You know, usually when we have like big bad things that go on in our lives, you know, it does send us in that direction. Which really makes sense here with the blueberry ice cream here. We have meditation, acceptance, and peace. So I do think that whatever's been going on that has been really hard, it's put you into this hermit mode of meditation. And if you're not in a place of acceptance over what's happened yet, I do believe that you will be and you will have peace over what has been happening, over what's been going on. And it's funny because if you look at all these cards together, there's a lot of purple energy here coming through. And when I think of like the color purple, I think of royalty automatically. So, you know, don't lose heart because I do think, you know, you have a lot of strength like someone who is of great power, like of someone who is of royalty kind of a thing. And I do think also that with this tower moment that's been going on, there has been a lot of purification happening within your soul. Once again, in the hermit mode, I think this is purifying your soul. It's purifying your spirit. I think that um, whatever has happened, it's kind of like, you know, what's that, what's that phrase? It's like rejection is God's protection kind of a thing. Whatever has happened to you, it's been for your best. It's been for your protection. So it may seem painful and it may seem really hard right now, but it's for a good reason. There's definitely something better on the other side of this. And you're going to learn how to create healthy boundaries out of this situation. It's going to make things better for you for sure. So you're being protected. You're going to establish good boundaries out of this. And your spirit and soul are going through a purification process right now. Like honestly, I see kind of like an awakening in a sense that's coming out of this. Like just from you. And even if you've been through an awakening, like this is taking you to a whole other level of depth spiritually for your walk with God your walk with Jesus is taking you to a whole other level, but a better level, a deeper level, a level that's going to bring you more abundance and blessing on the other side. And this is teaching you that you have strength. Oh, and I, that's so funny. I was just saying with all these purple cards, majesty, majesty, like royalty, you know, look at all this purple here. Like, look at this purple, 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 like there is definitely this like kind of royal essence about you, like this royal aura that you hold. Um, but don't forget that you are like a tiger, basically. You have strength. You have dignity. And this is building up your strength. It's making you, it's, it's taking you to a higher level in your power and that kind of thing. So 
You know, like I also think of like the Bible story of, you know, Joseph and his dream coat, you know, he went through absolute hell, you know, he was thrown into prison, you know, his brothers had betrayed him, you know, he went through the absolute ringer, but he was raised up out of that, and he wound up leading second to Pharaoh. He was, like, second in command. After the Pharaoh, he was, like, the guy. He was basically, practically, like, royalty, but that didn't happen for him until he went through all these tower moments. Like, he had back-to-back-to-back-to-back tower moments, practically. Um, But it wound up launching him into this position of power. You know, sometimes when we're going through stuff and it feels like we're going backwards in our life, what's really happening is we're kind of in, like, this slingshot. Where God puts us in a slingshot, he's pulling us back, and it's painful, and it hurts, and we feel like, but wait, God, everything was going so good. Why are you taking everything away from me? Why is everything crumbling and falling apart? But little do you know, he's put you in that slingshot to just pew, propel you forward into your future, which is going to be amazing and abundant and glorious. And that's exactly what is coming your way here with the Six of Wands. Because the Six of Wands is celebration. The Six of Wands, this is like a parade. You know, look at this unicorn here with its um, little crown it has on its head, like royalty, and the others are following along behind it. And this is like a celebration. So you're going to be celebrating. There's going to be goodness that's going to come out of this. And the Nine of Pentacles supports that too because the Nine of Pentacles is, you know, it's very much so like, financial abundance and being secure and you know you got everything that you want and then some like not only are your bills paid but you're able to go out there and you know buy yourself that designer bag that you want to so it's like you get you get your cake and you get to eat the two as well (laughs) so that's what's coming your way you know out of all this mess here you're gonna have a celebration And you're going to have a lot more than you expect, a lot more than you anticipate on the other side of this. And if this is a personal issue, if this isn't like a career thing or a money thing, if it is a personal thing, it is going to be resolved. It is going to come through. You are going to get past this this tower moment with this person. And even if it's, you know, not like a personal issue, that's a problem. You know, I think this is basically saying that whatever this issue is, it's going to be resolved. Now, as through as for working through your fears, since this is in reverse, I feel as of right now in this moment, you're not working through your fears. <laughs> that you're kind of still right here lingering in this tower energy and you haven't necessarily moved into the hermit yet. But I do think that you're going to move into the hermit and when you do, you will be able to reverse this and you will be able to work through your fears. But you're not quite there yet. You'll you'll get there though. Like you'll realize that staying in all this upsetness It's not going to serve you. It's not going to move things forward for you in your life. And you're eventually going to get into hermit mode. You're going to meditate. You're going to accept things. You're going to have peace that's going to come out of that. You're going to be purified. You're going to establish your boundaries. You're going to get stronger out of this. You're going to become like this royal person, (laughs) stepping out of this and you're going to celebrate and you're going to have way more than you could possibly ever imagine. Like, I don't think you have any idea how good things are going to get on the other side of this because, you know, that's what tower moments do. They don't come so you can just like have like a little tiny reward. Like this is going to be a big, big reward that's going to come out of this. So just hold on, (laughs) keep hanging in there. It's going to get better. And I have one last little surprise for you guys. So these are not exactly charms per se, but not that long ago, I was given a bunch of these paper tag, like keychain label kind of things where you can write stuff on them to identify different keys and stuff. And I never wound up actually writing anything on them. So I decided why not write on them to 
put little messages down for these readings. So that's what I did. And we're just gonna dig in right now, pull out three of these, and see what you guys need to know. Two, three. All right, let's see. We got games, which is so funny because games happened in the last one. There always seems to be like one that pops out from the last group that comes into the new group, which is just funny. Um, so games, I think that this is basically saying, you know, if you're going through a difficult time, take a break, enjoy a game, play, have a little bit of fun. That's going to help you get through the tower moment. Just, you know, lighthearted, fun times. The answer is no. If there's like a yes or no question specifically in regards to the situation that you're looking for, the answer is no. Um, we also have years in terms of timing. Um, I, I don't want to say that this situation is not going to resolve itself years from now. No, I don't think that. But, um, but I do think that it could be like a long time to kind of process through everything if it, if it really is that big of a tower moment. You know, I've had tower moments in my life where it has taken me years to recover. Um, I think most importantly, as long as you get into this hermit mode here, you can shrink down that time. It doesn't have to be years to recover. And fashion, um, maybe you're into fashion or, you know, like I said, with the Nine of Pentacles here, you're going to wind up getting into a place where you can buy any kind of fashion that you want. You can buy those designer uh, brand names, whatever it is that you want. Friends. Um, so definitely your friends are important to you. And while you're going through this difficult time with the tower moment, lean on your friends. They're going to be there for you. They're going to be supportive. So trust in your friends. And Scorpio, so you or someone that you know that you may be dealing with right now is a Scorpio. Um, oh, and then of course we have the Jesus card. I almost forgot. <laughs> How could I possibly forget Jesus? Um, Whosoever shall do the will of my Father which is in heaven, the same is my brother and my sister and my mother. So I think that's basically saying, you know, and that kind of ties in with... Um, which one was it? Yeah, your friends. Like, your friends is kind of like your family right now. So be there. Tap into your friends. Tap into your family. They're going to help you get through this hard time. You know, mother, brother, sister kind of thing. But that's what I'm seeing going on with you guys. Um, I know this was definitely kind of a heavy group, um, a challenging group. So if this pile did not resonate, maybe choose one of the other ones. If the message did not flow, just to let it go. You know, don't try to force anything, obviously. But if this was your pile, if this was helpful to you, then please let me know in the comments down below. I would really appreciate that. Um, otherwise, feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when future readings are coming out. Also, give this video a big thumbs up. Otherwise, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Keep sparkling. I am sending you lots of hugs and much love. Hi, Pile 3. If you chose the World Trade Center buildings here, New York, then this is the pile for you. We're going to find out where you are going. We're going to kick things off with the Ice Cream Oracle. And as I'm filming this today, it actually just so happens to be National Ice Cream Day. So happy National Ice Cream Day. What is your favorite flavor? Let me know. Anyway, let's see what your ice cream oracle cards say. Cherry Vanilla, Love, Passion, and Relationships. Blue Moon, Dream, Imagine, Create. Mango, Attraction, Intrigue, Sensuality. Seems like we got some love vibes going on here. Let's see what the Crystal Unicorn Tarot has to say for you guys. We have the Hierophant. The Five of Cups. 
the moon, and the two of swords. Okay. For your moonology cards, we have step out of your comfort zone, north node, and a time to give rather than take, new moon in Virgo. And finally, for your loving words from Jesus, because a Bible verse a day always keeps the bad vibes away, we have... Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Luke 12, 32. All right. Well, let's see what's going on here. We're going to kick things off with your tarot cards and see what's happening with the hierophant there. So, according to the book that I have on this deck, it says for the hierophant... The Hierophant Unicorn is here to remind us of the rules and systems our ancestors set in place and why it is good we have such traditions. With the energy of the Lapis Lazuli Crystal, helping him to communicate to others in a confident but understandable way, he is able to get his message across and help, to fit, and help you to fit in a good way. So the key words to this card are belief, religion, and tradition. Interesting. The Five of Cups, we're going to check out what the book has to say about that. But typically, you know, the Five of Cups is when we think we be, it's kind of like crying over spilt milk in a sense. You know, we're too focused on what has not worked out rather than focusing on what we still have. But let's see what the book says. The Five of Cups. Take some time to grieve your loss. In time, you will heal, but you can't recover what has been lost. Think about the lessons you have learned from this sorrow so that you won't make the same mistake in the future. Keywords. Sorrow, upsetting, hopeless. Yeah, like I said, um, I kind of look at this card as almost in a way like you're not being grateful like you've obviously gone through and had some rough times and difficulties in the past which would be these three cups here that have spilt over and this unicorn is sad and upset over those three cups but it doesn't realize that there are two full cups sitting right here ready and waiting for that unicorn so um you may be very busy looking at what you've lost in your life rather than what you have, you know, not exactly being thankful or grateful. You could be in that space right now. For the Two of Swords, the book says, Don't drag your magical hooves any longer. Now is the time to make a decision. All the information has been gathered, and now it's time to act. The decision you make will be fair and restore rainbows and sprinkles into the world. With the intuitive guidance of the moon and the amethyst crystal, you will make a decision with the confidence that everyone will be satisfied with. Keywords, decision, impasse, compromise. And it's funny that they mention the moon because you actually have the moon card here for your major arcana. And we're going to double check what it says about the moon too, but the moon is usually about secrets and intuition, that kind of thing. The moon. The beautiful selenite crystal embodies the feminine energy of the moon and helps you tap into your intuition and subconscious mind. The moon rules your imagination and dreams. When this card shows up, you will be able to see the truth that was once hidden in illusion no more. Keywords, illusion, intuition, unconscious. Well, I don't think you're unconscious because that just makes me think of somebody being knocked out, basically. But there's definitely a lot of stuff going on here right now. For one, I do feel that this is connected to a love situation because of the cards that we have over here. But I'll get into that in a minute. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling in this group, you guys have not been so lucky in love in the past, which is why we have the unicorn that's crying over 
spilt milk in a sense, but doesn't realize that there are new opportunities in love or, you know, new opportunities to heal and repair the situation that they're in with their current partner in love. And the thing is, you got to make a choice to do so. Like you can't just, you know, stay there crying over spilt milk, basically in this situation, you got to make a choice. Um, some of the differences could have been caused by different beliefs um, and that kind of thing. But, you know, the Hierophant um, it almost is kind of, almost gives me kind of like a hermit kind of energy, too, where it's very reflective, very deep, very much in thought. And I definitely kind of get the feeling from you guys that with this particular situation, you know, there could be some belief differences that are going on between you and this person. You know, you guys could be just having arguments kind of on deeper levels of issues of life. It's not like, oh, you forgot to load the dishwasher or something like that. Like, I do believe that the topics are definitely things that are of deeper context. But you guys need to make the choice to work through that. You can't just, like, stay in this energy. Um, part of this could be the fact that one or both of you may have been keeping secrets from each other. There could be secrets involved, or you guys are simply believing illusions about one another, you know, believing things about one another that are not true. So it definitely sounds to me like you guys have a lot of communication stuff that you need to work through here. Um, with a time to give rather than take, um, part of this may be that this person feels that you that you may not be very vulnerable with them, that you do not, you know, give to them. A part of this could be a communication issue related to your love languages. Maybe both of you have different love languages, different attachment styles, which could be part of the breakdown here in terms of your communication and where things are falling apart. So maybe instead of focusing so much on what you need to get from this person, like crying over the spilt milk here, instead of focusing on what you're not getting, maybe try to focus more so on giving to them, being a little bit more selfless. And I'm not saying that like in a unhealthy way where you completely forget about yourself or anything like that, but there's a possibility there could be some, you know, stinginess here going on on your end emotionally in terms of how you're giving to this person. You may not necessarily be acknowledging their love language and giving to them in a way that is helpful for their particular love language. So I would say definitely listen to them, like really listen to them. Don't listen with the intention to speak because I feel like a lot of times, a lot of us will do that in these situations where we'll listen to someone, but we're always listening because it's like, okay, well, I have a response to that. I have feedback for that. I have a comeback for that. Don't go into a conversation already planning out what you're gonna say, already planning out what your comeback is gonna be. Just be present and be in that moment and just hear and listen to that person for where they are in that moment, you might be surprised what you find out. You might be dis surprised by what comes out here in terms of secrets and illusion. Um, and you may want to actually step into a role of being more giving to this person. And I think doing that for you may be difficult. It may be challenging because of these previous pains that you've experienced in the past. So it is definitely like stepping out of your comfort zone to do that, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't do that. You know, staying in your comfort zone is a painful place too because you're not growing, you're not moving beyond that. Like, can you imagine if you were still wearing the same shoes that you wore when you were like seven years old, five years old? It would be so painful. <laughs> like, you wouldn't be able to do that because you outgrew those shoes, obviously. And, you know, they're no longer comfortable. This is no different. Step out of your comfort zone and be okay with giving to this person, listening to this person, being there for them. And I know you might be thinking, what about me? What about me? What about me? 
here's the thing. A lot of the times when we wake up in the morning, before our feet even hit the floor, it's like our ego, you know, that carnal, human, fleshy part in our body just like winds us up and sets us off like a little robot going, what about me? What about me? What about me? Beep, beep. And if you watch Joyce Meyer at all, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> you'll know exactly what I'm referencing. But that is like how we are as human beings more times than not. And we don't even realize it. Like the only way we're going to realize it is if we make a conscious effort not to do that <laughs> and to really listen to others so we can give. And I think once you do that, you're going to be surprised. This person's going to give back to you tenfold in ways that you can't even imagine right now. Like what goes around comes around. They're going to do the same thing for you. They're going to be just as giving, just as loving, just as supportive. So, you know, don't be stingy with that. Love, passion, relationships. So this is definitely a love, most likely romantic situation that we're dealing with here. There's definitely attraction between you and this person. You know, there's definitely chemistry. Like there's a reason that you guys are together. There's a reason that you guys are in one another's lives. And there's a reason why this problem is happening too. Probably so you both can grow and learn more about one another and about yourselves. And, you know, ultimately to make you both stronger, more well-rounded people. And Blue Moon, dream, imagine, create. So, you know, with that, like, just imagine the dream life that you do want to have with this person. And a part of that dream life is giving to one another, for sure. So pay attention to your dreams. There may be signs in there, too, going on with your dreams. But this is definitely a love-related message. And... Just pay attention to one another's love languages more often and really listen. Listen with the intent to listen, not to speak, and you're going to be okay. And you're not going to have any more cups tipped over. You'll see. Now, one other little surprise that I have here for you guys, right in here. Um, it's kind of like charms, not exactly, but um, I have these little paper tag keychain things that I was given and um, I never wound up actually labeling them for any kind of keys or anything like that. So I basically just wrote down messages on them and I'm just gonna pull out three from in here and we're gonna see if there's any little additional tidbit of information that you guys need to know dealing with the situation. Okay, so we have two signs that have popped out. We have Virgo, so you or the person that you may be dealing with right now could be a Virgo. And we have fitness. Um, so, I mean, I know fitness has nothing to do with like this relationship issue, but this just could be like an extra little note in your life that, you know, perhaps this is just confirmation for you that you're working on your fitness, you're getting healthy, you're eating right, you're exercising, things like that right now. So just a little extra tidbit there. If there is a question that you have an answer to with this, it's like yes or no related, even though we didn't ask that specifically, the answer is yes. I would say the answer is yes to work through this issue, not to give up. And pets. So perhaps you have a pet or this person has a pet or, you know, animals are just a big part of your life. So, you know, if you need a little bit of extra comfort to get through this, you know, give your dog, your cat, whoever, a little pet, a little hug. You could be a Libra or maybe you're dealing with a Libra. And pop culture. Um, so this is kind of roundabout. Um, either one of you guys may work in the entertainment industry and deal with pop culture on a regular basis, or maybe you guys are just like big, big uh, pop culture nerds. You know, maybe there's different things about pop culture you're really into. Like I know this week was supposed to be San Diego's Comic Con, and it's not happening because of everything with COVID. But you know, Comic Comic Con is kind of like a a big pop cultural thing that's kind of huge and everything. So it could be anything, music, 
um, movies, TV shows, anything pop culture related that could be something of significance to you or this other person or both of you guys. Finally, with the Jesus card, fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom of heaven or to give you the kingdom of well, the kingdom of heaven, too. But really, I think this is just a reminder that, you know, all this stuff that you're fretting over, that you're not exactly being particularly grateful over here with the spilt milk, don't worry about it. It's going to blow over. It's going to be fine. Get into more of a grateful place because when you're thankful for things, you're more likely to give and you're not going to be as consumed with needing to receive and remember that anything that you do receive it's going to come from God that he's the one that provides that you cannot like expect that from another person from another human being God can work through another human being yes but it ultimately has to come from God so don't worry don't fret God's got you covered through this anyway um, I hope this resonated for you guys. If the message didn't flow, just let it go, of course. If it did, let me know. Leave me a comment down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know of future videos when they come out. Otherwise, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Keep sparkling. I am sending you lots of hugs and much love.